Hello, Xander from the Otakuspirit.com website. Today I have an unboxing of some Fate series items here. Um, I have a couple things that came in with this stuff, but I wanted to kind of break it up because, you know, people looking for Fate stuff can look for specifically the Fate stuff, and the other stuff can kind of be on their own just because, one, they deserve to be on their own, and two, because um, it would be kind of a really long video, and it makes it easier for labeling. So, yeah, um, as you can tell in the back here, it's going to be, you know, out of focus, but I, I love the Fate series, so... Uh, that's part of a driving force to buying this particular set. I don't think Fate Apocrypha was like the best story at all, but I did enjoy the characters. As always, I always enjoy the actual um, servants in them. Uh, it's one of the biggest draws that I have to the Fate series. Um, but it had some good action scenes, and it was a, uh, a good series overall, just for the Fate series in general. So, yeah. Collectors in me decides to jump in there and Spend more than I really should for a series that wasn't, you know, stellar. But, um, yeah, that's just my problem. I have a problem. So, as usual, it has a little wrap there that has all the information for the Blu-ray itself. And taking that off, we can actually see the entirety of the actual box. So, again, Fate, uh, Fate Apocrypha or Apocrypha or something like that is pronounced in Japanese. I'm not sure, exactly sure of that. Uh, limited edition Blu-ray box set one. And, of course, this was a series that was done by A1, uh, A1 Pictures rather than uh, Unlimited Blade Works and Dean that <laughs> we don't we don't acknowledge existing. Um, so, yeah. I thought it was a series that takes place, like, in the past from Fate and Unlimited Blade Works, but apparently that is not true. I can't really confirm that or deny that, but I thought it was just because it had, like, Zui Ling and stuff like that, which has always been connected with um, uh, Waver. So, I'll just say... It's just another Holy Grail War. It's like this grand Holy Grail War where they actually have two sides. They have their own servants. And um, for that reason, it was pretty cool. I always enjoy when they take that formula and do something different with it. And that was definitely the case with this one. They had, of course, Ruler, who was kind of a, a, a judge that's in the middle of all of them. Has She has her own command seals, and she's able to uh, dictate what people do just because she can command anybody. Which is a really cool little element they added to it. In here we have the, um, this is, is this part two? <laughs> um, that's, that's a bad thing. Again, this is part one. And inside here, um, we have episodes nine through twelve. That's, that's not a good thing. And then we have the original soundtrack one. So, we got this right. This is not right. That's really concerning. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I, I'm double and triple and quadruple reading that, and it still says episode 9 through 12. That is, um, oh, that's right. This is, <laughs> I forgot this is too core. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you're getting this live and, and uncut. Uh, here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just totally messed up right now. I apologize. This is Apocrypha <laughs> 1 and 2 here, which has disc 1, disc 2, which is episodes 1 to 4. And five through eight. This is ridiculous. <laughs> of course, we have on the characters here, we have Siegfried and uh, Zeke. And then we have Stafo and, um, oh my gosh, it's the, the her, not the Achilles, no, I don't remember what his name was. He wasn't important because he wasn't the best girl, which is Stafo. And John Ark. <laughs> and of course, we have Caster, Frankenstein, and, and who was the other one? Uh, yeah, John. Okay. I, I'm so sorry. This is like the worst... Unbox. This could be actually more entertaining than hearing me monotonely talk about this show. And in here as well, we have a little booklet that has, you know, uh, all different characters in here. Their artwork. Karna. I loved Karna. He was awesome. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we can find that character that I was struggling over, and then I can redeem myself somewhat. <laughs> there he is right there. Uh, Sh Sharon. There we go. Uh, yeah. That thing. So, yeah. This is a... I really enjoyed the series, though. It was a really, really neat little take on, the again, the Fate franchise and the mechanics within it, uh, kind of adding another element to it, having two sides fighting each other rather than just, you know, whichever servant and master come out on top. Let's see here. Let's go to let's go to the actual part two uh, that Andrew was kind of failing on earlier. And show this one off. We have... I, th I think A1 Pictures did a, uh, a good job. I mean, it's, nobody's going to match up to unlimited budget worth that Unlimited Blade Works was, but 
I, I think they had some really stellar action scenes. Uh, the sound was a little bit is is kind of um, divisive to people. Some people enjoy that kind of impactful sound that they have with it. Some people think it's very overused type of muffle your subwoofer type of sound effects. But um, I like it. I'm a, I'm okay with it. I, yeah, I would agree. If it's used too much, I'm probably gonna get tired of it. But here we have part two's back. Very cool artwork they have on this stuff. It is actual chipboard, so it's not like that flimsy stuff that you usually get with A1 Picture, or not A1 Picture, Anaplex USA, so keep that in mind. So that be the frack in here, and then we have, yeah, art, you already seen that. Uh, Alsel has an art book as well. Um, I don't know if I want to open this too much because this could actually have some of the more spoilerific stuff. This looks like it has more interviews, which is always cool. I love reading interviews with these uh, writers and, and voice actresses and whatnot. It has some sketches of some fights there. So And then, of course, the track list, I believe, for the soundtrack. Let's see if it has a soundtrack. We have part one and two of the second core here, which is episodes 13 and 17. And this one's 18 and 21. We have Mordred. Um, oh my gosh, I'm starting to blank on names again. I'm going to stop. <laughs> it, it's been about a, a year and a half since I watched this, so forgive me. Karna, and we have, um, I don't want to mention that guy's name, because I guess that's kind of spoiler f ish So, um, and this was episodes, uh, let's see, told 22 to 25, and then we have the second original soundtrack. So, cool stuff there as well. Alright, and then we have one last thing to kind of show off here. I have something on the floor I need to pick up, otherwise I'm going to lose it. The little, uh, please send us a, 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 your feedback about how much you hate the pricing for Anaplex titles. I, I am really curious. I think I mentioned on another our podcast, the Talkie Spirit Anime Cast. Um, but I am really curious to see if they will end up having Funimation go to the pricing that Anaplex has just because they are technically the same company now. So keep that in mind. Um, I, I don't say that as gloating. I really, I really do um, feel for people that cannot get Anaplex titles. Uh, so don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of paying that much, but I do understand their conundrum about backwards importing. But they do have really high quality. So this is uh, Fate Grand Order, the first order movie. This was actually done by Leduce. I believe that's how you pronounce it, or Leduce, or I don't know what they, how the Japanese pronunciation of it. Uh, it looks like Leduce, so I'm going to say Leduce. <laughs> uh, this was a, a movie that they did for the Freight Grand Order mobile game. Um, I did, an, again, enjoy it. I don't think it is a, a budget of the, uh, the you know, Unlimited Blade Works and whatnot, but it has MASH in it, so who cares? Uh... I did enjoy certain aspects of it because I I don't know that I had played the game yet, and so I was kind of tripped out about things like Lancer Ku was was caster in it and stuff like that. So this does have a digipack, which I'm not a huge fan of. I've mentioned before I do enjoy that it's it's a little easier for them to have really cool full display artwork with a digipack because it's basically a printout they fold. But I never liked the idea of these little kind of glued on things holding the discs in but yeah we have um the actual movie there and then we have the soundtrack that we have with it as well so that's cool that grinder does have some really good music so we have the game mobile game please play it a little insert feedback thing and of course we have some artwork with some like saber altar uh spoiler uh medusa right here which she was more like a lan yeah she was a lancer which was kind of interesting as well, because she's supposed to be writer class. Ku as a caster, which is normally a lancer. So it's kind of like one of those little weird, what the hell happened to this world kind of things, along with it. So, really cool. Cool game. I've spent way too much money on Fake Grand Order, and now I've spent more on it with this this uh, purchase. I did, I do kind of like this. Ins I mean, that would I'd rather take something like this than just having a really flimsy uh, chipboard to stick all of your discs in but it does kind of come with its own problems as well so like how I can't get it back in <laughs> uh, I would I do want to mention uh, lastly before I kind of cut this off uh, once again appreciate right stuff anime I did purchase this from them I do appreciate fully that they pack the things the way they pack them 
because this came in a box that looked like they used it as a hockey puck and open this up and a quick examination this looks like it is all in one piece which if you know how much these cost is a godsend basically because this could have been a really bad situation having to return all these and how expensive they are so big shout out to them for sending it well packed and protected so hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing of fate apocrypha fate grand order first order and i'll have some more here soon for you guys uh, unboxing what else i came with this one but i thank y'all for listening and watching and y'all take care